What's up, everybody? Chewy Internet coming at you today. We got another Marvel Crisis Protocol video, and this time it's going to be about the Human Torch, the original Human Torch, not the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four, the one that I'm excited for or looking forward to. But we got this one. Um, I didn't know anything about I'm going to be honest with you. I, I've, read, I've, been, I've read comics for a while now. Um, I didn't know anything about the original Human Torch from a lore perspective. Um, I, I didn't know that, that that school was around in 1942. Uh, like during during the uh, World War II with Captain America and all that stuff, fighting Hydra and all that. Had no idea there was a human torch like that. So that's really, really cool. Like, one thing about MCP that I love the most is, like, I can, like, with some of these characters, I can just go into the lore and, like, oh, my God, like, look these characters up. Characters that have no idea existed and just get their backstories and all that stuff. So that's really, really cool. Um, so, yeah, today his card got revealed. Um, earlier today, this morning, the card got leaked on Reddit or something like that. And uh, I had a feeling that there was going to be a panel to play on him today with that being the case. Uh, not that they reacted or whatever and did it, but I just had a feeling Human Torch was going to be today. And that's really cool. I really want to see what this character can do. And uh, I'm excited for him, honestly. Like, this release of Hydra and uh, S.H.I.E.L.D., um, I got to say, like, I'm excited for because I think they're adding something new to those affiliations. And, you know, with Hydra being brand new and the Red Skull being brand new, there's going to be some new stuff coming around and something refreshing to play with those characters. And uh, I'm excited for the September stuff that's coming out. And I think Red Skull is slated to possibly come out in October. I still don't think he's in the store yet, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but, yeah, let's get into it. But before that, guys, if you guys can, do me a favor. Like, dislike the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. One more MCP content coming up. If you guys can, do me a favor. Um, I really want to uh, interact with the, with the community a little bit more and uh, with my audience a little bit more. So if you guys can, down below in the comment section, if you have any ideas on videos that you want me to do, if you guys want me to do a a, a, a a like a list breakdown or something like that, or how I build my list, or uh, if you have any questions about affiliations and you want an, you want my opinion on them, definitely let me know down below. Anything you guys want me to do as a video uh, from MCP or whatever, anything like that, definitely comment. Seriously, down below, let me know. Give me some ideas. Not that I'm running out of ideas. I have a lot of ideas, right? Um, but. I always want to. I want to interact with the community that way. You know what I mean. And uh, you know, if there's something that you want me to tackle or talk about, feel free, man, down below. If I like what I hear, hey, cool. And uh, definitely subscribe, comment, like, subscribe, and then we'll get that going. So let's get into the Human Torch, right? I I love this fig a lot. Um, this gives me hope for the you know if they ever do a Fantastic Four release, right? So when I saw this, I when I and back in June when I saw the trailer and I saw this character, I was like, oh my god, Johnny Storm, the Fantastic Four is here. No, it was this guy, right? Uh, but I love what I'm seeing here. Like, he looks really, really cool um, with the flames and all that stuff. They did a really good job with all that. Um, very simple paint schemes. It's going to be really simple to paint. Um, it just looks awesome. And it just gives me hope for the for the, for the Johnny Storm, right? Because, you know, I can imagine his sculpt being like he's half, like, flame on or something like that or whatever. And he has the Fantastic Four suit and all that stuff. I can really see some cool designs. And I really like this. The sculpt. The sculpt is really, really good. I got to give props where props is due. MG did a really good job with the sculpt. It looks awesome. Definitely a must. I think it's going to be a must buy for me. Just, just, I, I like what I see here. Will I ever play him? I don't know. We'll have to look at the card and we'll have to see what's up, right? Um, so let's get to the Human Torches card. So um, this is a new card design, which I, I'm a fan of. Um, the original Human Torch, Jim Hammond. So defense three, physical, energy four, mystic two. Um, like his defenses, the mystic is down you know, below average, but that's okay. His energy defense, I figured it'll be up because, you know, it's fire and energy and all that stuff. So I figured it would be something like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, health five, he's a three threat character, size two moves medium. Um, that's interesting. Um, I like everything that I see here. Uh, his health is five. I mean, but basically a standard three threat here. Um, you know, nothing really to look at here, and it's you know blows you out of the water. I, I really think everything here is expected, as expected for a three threat, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, let's get to the attacks. Burn, baby, burn. Oh, I love that. That's that is a really nice attack name. I love it. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, it's a beam three, uh, four dice, uh, no power cost. Uh, after each attack is resolved, this character gains one power. So it's a gainer. This is a beam attack, so um, it's it's got a nice range of, of range three, so you have to move up attack. Um, you know, I, th I find this attack that this attack is probably gonna be really effective on like secures or like extracts that are down the middle or whatever, and uh, people can just get lined up a little easier, and then he can just launch his beam attack and then just gain power that way. Um, it's not power equal to damage dealt. 
Um, the bright side to it is an energy attack, and I, and I've said this before. I think energy defense for a decent amount of characters is like to uh, it's it's not the highest, right? Um, so he can take advantage of that and uh, just beam characters down that have weak energy defense. So that's really cool. Um, it's got a wild trigger. It's called Immolate. Uh, after each attack is resolved, the target characters gain incinerate. So he can incinerate people as expected. I mean, he's a character built with fire and all that stuff. I mean, if he didn't incinerate characters, I'd find that very, 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 very strange. Um, but as expected, um, you know, um, really good. I, I like the balance here with the with with the gainer here, right? Um, it's nothing too crazy. It's not gonna. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be dazing a lot of characters. Uh, you're gonna be fishing for the wild a lot. There's no there's no rapid fire or anything like that. Not that I'm asking for a rapid fire. I'm just saying like. You know, when I usually see these, I can see rapid fire, whatever. Um, there's nothing There's nothing like that going on right now, okay? So it's just you're basically fishing for the wild to incinerate multiple characters, lowering their defense die, and then from there, your other characters can take that, take those other characters apart, right? Um, so, yeah, really cool. Uh, Nova Burst. God, these, these, I got to say, these attack names are really cool. <laughs> I like these attack names a lot. Nova Burst. Uh, beam 2. So he has two beam attacks. That's interesting. Uh, range 2, he's got to get in there. Uh, I don't know. What is, what is the defenses? Well, we'll see. Let's keep reading this. Uh, four dice, one power cost. So, in the if you guys listen to me in the house party protocol, uh, in the house party protocol podcast, I talk about spenders. They seem to be coming down a bit, right? Um, they seem to be coming down in cost and like doing a little bit more for your money, like bang for your buck. Um, Maybe I'm just seeing things, but it feels like spenders are like coming down, which is good actually, because most of my time when I pick attacks for my tech, my characters, I'm mostly doing gainers and mostly doing builders. Uh, there's only certain spenders that I would use that I find useful. Um, so any the other thing is too, some of them are just a little too expensive, right? Um, so it seems like they're coming down a bit, and I'm I'm liking that, and it seems like they want you to start using these attacks and you know doing some crazy shenanigans. So. Let's get into this attack. When this attack is chosen during the pay cost step of the attack, this character may spend up to seven power. Okay, so it's one power cost up to seven. Cool. Uh, add one die for each attack made for each power spent this way. So this attack can go from four to 11, right? So it can go from four to 11. Hold on. During the pay to power cost step of the attack, there's one to do this and you get four. Right, and then you pay your seven. So yeah, you can go up to eleven. Yeah, eleven dice. Uh, be a uh, be, uh, beam attack, which is range two. You have to get in there to do this, which is kind of concerning. And you, uh, but let's see what this, let's see what the, let's see what this does. But an eleven dice, a beam attack is not nothing to scoff at. That's actually pretty cool. After each attack is resolved, the target gains the incinerate special condition. Okay, so just puts on incinerate. If this attack deals damage, after each attack is resolved, this character suffers one damage. Uh, so you take damage. Why would they? So wait, you take damage every time you do damage. So if you got a beam, so let's just, okay, let's play devil's that. Let's just, let's give a scenario. You do a beam attack into three people, right? And you pay all this power and you do damage for each one. Everybody gains incinerate. That's cool. But if you damage all three characters, right? You're taking three damage on top of that. So if you take three damage, you're down to two left. Like, I don't understand why they have to have this drawback. Well, you're already spending so much power to do this. It's interesting, right? But, like, the, the drawback there I don't think is necessary, honestly. But that's okay. I mean, I guess they wanted to have something like, okay, yeah, this beam attack is a little nutty. Once you get in range two, they're like, okay, let's have a drawback because they're spending so much power. But he doesn't really gain power. I mean, he has the he has a gainer. I mean, at most he can target. I mean, he can target maybe three or four characters in a beam and then gain four power. Um, he can possibly go to you know, let's say for example, he uses both his actions on the beam and you know beams three characters in a row. He can possibly gain to he can go up to six power and then you gain your one and maybe he gets there. I still don't. I hate that drawback. I really don't like that. Um, but everything else like the, the, the this attack is nutty, right? Like you just. I guess what they wanted to do is like, okay, so now I'm understanding. So Nova Burst is basically, they want you to feel like, you know how Johnny Storm went into that Nova form or whatever in the movie of Fantastic Four or whatnot. 
and like he, you know, he damage like he can basically destroy himself or whatever. You know, if he goes like if he super heat overheats or whatever the hell it is. I'm trying to come up with a scientific term. I can't figure it out. But <laughs> but that's what they're trying to do here. It's like he take he inflicts damage by doing this because he's overheating, and it's like okay, got it. I understand that. Um, but still, I don't. You know, I'm not a eh, not the biggest fan of that. But that's okay though. This is an interesting attack. A uh, hit and run. Yes, he has a hit and run. Yes. Um, this character immediately makes an attack followed by move action. The superpower can only be used once per turn. Should be easy to do. Um, I love the move and attack actions, whatever. You know, he's going to go, do a beam, move away, you know, keep himself safe or just move somewhere else. He has a little bit of action economy here. I like that. I'm a fan of this. Yes. So, really, really good. Too hot to handle. Three power costs. Choose an enemy character within two of this character. The chosen character drops an asset token. It is holding. Um, that's cool. Um, I... Again, this doesn't work on civilians, so it only works on asset tokens. So it works on hammers. It works on cubes. It works on any of the single extracts, I think, outside of the scrolls, I think. I think those are human. I can't remember at this point in time. Um, so it this can find its use here. You can go and uh, get, get a character within two, have them drop their asset token. You can go and pick it up for one. You can pick up a hammer and then do like a range five I mean, range five. Oh my God. You can do a five die, like beam attack or something like that or whatever. Right. For three power costs. That's not, you know, it, this is fine. This is okay. Um, like touching a stovetop, two power costs. When an enemy character would push or throw this character after the effect is resolved, this character means a super part of the character that causes effect to f takes one damage. So if they throw or push me, which is interesting, um, I spend two power, they take a damage. So you could just chip away with two power. That's, I, this is pretty cool stuff. I'm liking what I'm seeing from this character. Um, I don't think he's anything that's, you know, amazing, but I, I see that he has some really useful superpowers here. As uh, my, I always say is where, you know, you have to make sure you're getting the power effectively and efficiently, and then you can do all these things that you want to do, right? So that's where I would be like, okay, you got to figure out how you're going to get all this power and then do everything that you see on the on his super, which is, you know, not easy, right? Um but he has some really cool stuff here. I'm I'm a fan. Uh, when this character ends in advance... Oh, so there's his power generation. Okay. Controlled burn. Uh, when this character ends in advance, it gains one power for each character within two of it. Oh, you gotta have to have incinerate. Okay. So, here's the deal. And he's immune to incinerate, which is good. Um, so, where I see him being really good... I'm just going to tell you off the top of my head. This is a simple analysis, right? Um, I like him on demons downtown because people are just going to get incinerated. And that's an easy way to get out and incinerate without having him have do it without having him do attacks. Right. And what could end up happening is he could, you know, move, gain a power for each character within two of it that has incinerate. Right. Because they're going to get incinerate during the power phase, whatever the case may be. <laughs> And then from there, um, you can just walk in your power. That's how you're going to gain your extra power. Then you can beam again, and then you can do your beam and then gain some more power that way. Um, it's interesting. I like it. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. Um, I definitely want to try it out. Um, th I think this might make me play shield or, you know, maybe another affiliation where I can see where I can uh, effectively pull off incinerates. Like, for example, like, I'm not saying that this is a um, guarantee, you know, guaranteed. I'm not. I'm not trying to like. Okay, this is where he's optimal. But like, I, I would like to try him with like Shadowland Daredevil, um, because of the the wild ability here and the beam. I can just go ahead and reroll an attack die and try to maybe fish for the wild a little bit more efficiently, um, and then try to put on a massive incinerates and then from there, I mean, you know, have Bucky shoot or whatever, or have another character with a long range gun and just do something. Right? Like that's where my mind goes. Right? I want to try him out there. Uh, with shield, I think you know, obviously, right? That that affiliation is getting filled out a little bit more. I would like to see what he could do there. Um, I'm trying to think of where else where I would like to see him play, where I would you know be happy. I think those are the two that come out in my mind, right? Shield, obviously, because that's going to be his home, and then from there, it's going to be you know, I would like to try him in challenge. I mean, with the reroll and everything, I think it's I think it'd be interesting, right? To like hand out incinerate, right? A little bit more efficiently, probably put it on multiple characters, and then from there. You know, do your thing and and all that. Like, I, I, he he has some uses, I think. Um, he's gonna be an interesting character to play. I, I'm definitely gonna have some fun with him. Um, I definitely want to get him on a table and try him out. 
and uh, see what's up. Um, and I love the and I love the model design, by the way. The model design is great. Um, he's an ex he's got some really cool stuff here. He's got some really, he's got a lot of text here and the superpowers and everything. I'm really interested to put him on a table and try him out. I mean, especially with this whole throw push deal here and like do some chip damage and all that stuff. That's interesting. Um. In fact, he ends in advance within two characters and then gains a power. That's interesting, too. If you put him on Demons Downtown, oh, my God, right? Um, you know, like, uh, you can just end within two characters and then just gain a power. Just like that, you're done. Um, that's pretty cool. I mean, he could just sit back on a back point and cap it because he's immune to incinerate. Psh, why not? Um, but, yeah, those are my thoughts on uh, Jim Hammond. Actually, I'm a little more excited about this character, to be honest with you. Like, I, um, I definitely I, I'm, I'm digging what I'm seeing. Uh, I definitely want to give him a shot and try him out and uh, see what he can do on the table. Uh, my mind's already working and uh, thinking about certain things with him. And, uh, you know, yeah, definitely give me your thoughts down below, guys. Uh, let me know what, you, what your thoughts are on the original Human Torch. Uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Like, dislike the video down below. In the comment section, guys, don't just talk about Jim Hammond. Just like uh, if you guys want to talk, uh, you guys have any, any ideas out there? If you guys want me to tackle any subjects MCP related. Let me know. I'll take a look at the comments down there, and um, I'll do a video on it. Seriously. Like, I want to interact with you guys a little bit more and, um, you know, do some different things, right? And, uh, you know, help you guys. If, and if you have any questions about anything, you know, about the game or you need some help with something, I'm, I'm here, man. Seriously. I'll, I want to do that for you guys. Um, but, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, those are my thoughts on Jenny Hammond. I'm, I'm, I like, I'm, I'm interested. I'm intrigued. Um, and I definitely want to give him a shot. Um on certain on certain teams, you know what? Another one I just thought of one just now. Maybe I mean Guardians wouldn't need him, but I mean if you give him, you know, wing the token uh, on a beam. Granted, you can only use it one time. I'm not saying it's optimal, but that that's interesting, right? Um, we'll see what's up. That's it, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll catch you on the next MCP video. And um, busy week this week, guys. I'll be at NashCon. If you guys are at NashCon, say what's up to me. Hang out. Have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, I'll have a video afterwards recapping NashCon and tell you everything that's been going on and all that stuff. So that'd be fun. So take care, guys. Have a wonderful, blessed day. I'll catch you on the next MCP video. Bye.